Hey, this is Jan and in the fourth episode of JKTV I've got a hands-on tutorial for you on how to install backups on WordPress with the free tool BackWP Up. Backups are ridiculously important when it comes to working with WordPress and with building online businesses because you put so much time and work and money into your website but when it all stops working you have to recover your website quickly to get your back to get your business back up and running. So when you, when it comes to creating backups, most people fear like backups are some very technical stuff that you need to be a geek for to understand how to do them. But that's luckily not the case. Um, I'm working with a tool that's called BackWP Up. You can see I've installed it right here. You can just install it from the WordPress repository. So you could go to add new and then you can search for back WP up and it should show. As you can see here it is back WP up free WordPress backup plugin. It says installed because I already have it installed on my site. And please do backups. Please take the few minutes that this tutorial is going to last and just work along and install this plugin on your site. It's updated regularly. I've been working with it for a few months now and it's pretty reliable. And please save the work that you've put into your website. Please do backups because in case your website stops working, you will be able to recover your website pretty easily and pretty fast. Whereas you would have to recover your website or you would have to do the, everything from scratch without having a backup. So let's dig right into it. When we go to the jobs in the back WP app, you can see that there is no job. Um, we'll add a new backup routine. We'll add a new backup job and this, this is going to be a weekly full backup of the site. So this job is about doing a database backup, doing a file backup and creating a list of the plugins installed. Basically the file backup will include all the plugins but this will also do another list of the plugins so that you can easily see what plugins you had on your website. When it comes to the file creation, th this is a random name. I, I can just leave it as it is. Um, the archive format for me, zip, is working pretty well. Um, I've experienced issues with these other formats, so you have to definitely play around with this. For me, zip is working most of the times. When it comes to the job destination or the question where your backup should be stored, please don't back up to folder. Please save it in another location than your web server because if you can't access your server and your website stops working, you can't access the backup too. I normally back up to Dropbox. <coughs> you could also send your backup via email or go with another service that's listed here. Um, then we can save the changes and we can go to the schedule. This means when the backup is run. So I normally schedule with WordPress cron. This is a bit imprecise. We'll set it to a weekly Sunday at 3 a.m. in the morning. That's the standard and it works pretty well for me. So the next time after Sunday 3 a.m., if someone visits your website, the backup is run. So if the next visitor is 4 a.m., the backup is done at 4 a.m. That's not that important to me because what important, what is important is that the backup is done depending on a regular schedule and it's not important if it's 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. to me. So we don't need to touch the DB backup the files or the plugins. That's configured pretty good. Um, as we, as I said, I saved to Dropbox, so I have to re-authenticate or to authenticate with my Dropbox account. When I click on that, you get redirected to Dropbox and you get asked for the permissions. And here you have it. That's the folder. That's the name of the WordPress installation. Back WP up will create this folder in your Dropbox for you. And here you can say how many files you want to have in your Dropbox, meaning 
how many backups you want to save before they get deleted. I normally do just five backups so that I can have five weeks of backups in my Dropbox and the sixth week is getting deleted. <coughs> the, oldest, uh, the oldest version are getting deleted. So now we can just save the changes and then we can run the job. And this might take a time depending on the size of your website. So I'll be back in a minute when the website is uh, when the backup is done. So there you have it. The job is completed. In my case it took 227 seconds. As I said, it might take longer or it might be faster for you depending on your website. I'm here on my new project that's called Simply WP. Let me get the cursor back. Um, here we go. Simply WP is my new project about delivering WordPress maintenance and WordPress customization services. So what we do is we charge a monthly fee and I'm working with a team of the world's best web developers that I ever worked with. And I take care of your website, I take care of your backups, I'll take care of your updates. And we'll do unlimited small tasks, like small tweaks on your theme, on plugins for you. So stop worrying about the technical details of WordPress. We'll get you back to focus on running your business instead of just taking care of the technical stuff. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you did, please subscribe to Simply WP to get the early birds news before to get the early birds bonus before we are launching in a few weeks. Cheers.